I'm Jenny Mitchell with MeTV News. And now for, uh, and what is it? Now for a patriotism report. MeTV has learned of some shocking news that our government is failing to look after veterans properly. In a move that will shock millions, people sent off to die by this country are now being denied pensions and adequate training. Inevitably, some veterans are turning to drugs and crime or worse. We spoke to one prominent veteran, Phil Cassidy, who served with distinction in several wars, who said, quote, I love my country. I love her like a woman. I've made love to my country. I fought and killed innocent people for my country, and I'd do it again if they'd let me. But since I left, it's been hell. No one wants to hire a man with a dishonorable discharge from the catering corps. I've done some bad things. I know I have, but God damn it, it was fun, unquote. Then Cassidy fell over and began crying. I'm Jenny Mitchell, MeTV News. But you like guns, huh? They don't give you a moral problem, I mean. No. Good. Because I know a guy who can sell all the guns we can get them, which is, trust me, quite a lot. What do I have to do? <laughs> Nothing. Just go and pick up the money from him. He's down over by the docks. <clears throat> be big. Jerry told me about you. Hey, I used to be in the service. Yeah, listen. He said you'd have some money for me. Sure, sure. But I ain't a bank. I don't have it on me. But I'll take you to it. Hop aboard. I've been having trouble with them Cholo boys. Some of them have... What the hell is a Cholo? Bunch of Mexican gangbangers, bad boys, trying to take over all the gun running in town. And you want me to deal with them, yeah? Look, where's the money, Phil? Yeah, well, funny thing, you see, it's like this. It's under the floorboards of my old place. But the Cholo evicted me, and now I can't get to it. I'll get to it. See you around. And go see Phil again. He says something about a gift for you. Huh? I don't trust you, Martinez. Hey, Vic, how you doing? Martinez wanted me to give you this. Don't worry, it's non-traceable. Don't worry? Man, I'm getting too deep into this shit. Go see how she shoots. Martinez stole this, didn't he? Why would he give me this? Wait. Don't tell me, I don't want to know. See you around, Phil. Phil, where are you? Phil, it's me, Vic. Oh. Put your hands where I can see him, boy. You think you can come here and rob me, probably try to rape me? <laughs> I know you're kind. Phil, it's me, Vic, your brother in arms. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Lower your pants and prepare to cry. I'm going to give you a shotgun suppository. Whoa! <laughs> Phil! It's me, oh, Vic. Oh, my. Vic Vance. Vic, why didn't you say so? Good to see you, brother. Come here. <clears throat> Let me squeeze a fart out of you. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry about Bruce, man. He was the best. Hey, I can still see the smile on his face when he shot that little gook. Bang. <clears throat> oh, go to hell. Damn. Have you been drinking? Hey, what do you think? Listen, we gotta go. I got something to show you. Come on. Come on. Come on, now. Hold on. You're gonna drive? Uh, uh. 
Let's go! <laughs> Maybe I should drive, man. Damn stick shift! Vic, we're gonna drive by on some cholo. I know right where we can pick up the trail. I'm just trying to make an honest living, man. But they're organized. I can't compete, man. You know, this used to be a fine country. <laughs> oh, nothing. Felt for sure some cholo would be here. Those scumbags are always crossing the law. Let's not hang around here, Vic. Cops make me nervous. I hear you, man. Sometimes I skits out and kill a lot of them. Say, I know another place those damn cholos might be. Strike two. Where are they? This could take hours. Good job. I brought a little something to drink. <clears throat> Cholo bastard! There he is! Cholo bastard! Goddamn Cholos, who do they think they are? Messing with me? Phil bitch killer Cassidy? Yeah! This is some fancy driving. We're gonna need to get my car fixed up, Vic. Old girl ain't looking so good. Boy, she is looking like a daisy now. You're a fine wingman, Vic. Damn Cholo will think twice before shitting on my patch from now on. See you around, partner. See you around. Double. When I'm not jumping out of helicopters, arresting bad guys, solving here to do unsolvable murders, or sticking my head between strippers' tits, I make mistakes, like any other ordinary guy. That's why the day I... Hello? Marty? Phil Cassidy sent me. Are you Louise? I'm a friend of Phil's. Friend of Phil's? Well, why don't you say so, boy? I'm Marty J. Williams. Well, Phil says you guys might have some work for me. <laughs> Phil! <sighs> What's going on? You're a mess. I'm not drunk. I'm just resting my eyes. Okay. So, what's going on? <clears throat> my bum shines. I'm about to get blown sky high by a bunch of angry scumbags. Hey, <clears throat> damn it. Mm. What? <clears throat> yeah. Them cholos are gonna blow up my liquor. And there's so much of it at the warehouse, one match, blow it all the way to Tennessee. Tennessee, here I come. <laughs> Phil, come on. Let's deal with this. <laughs> the thing is, Vicky boy, my daddy was an angry man. He never, ever told me I was special. In fact, he used to beat me, especially when he caught me staring at my cousin or my sister. You know what he said to me? He said I'd be better off dead. Uh, and how exactly is this helping? Uh, the tragedy of it is, I'm just like him. I am a drunk. <clears throat> I deserve to die. It should have been me instead of Zach on Hill 491, man. I'm coming home, Daddy! <laughs> Yeah, Daddy, I'm coming home! <laughs> You're pathetic. I could have sworn I locked this place up. Phil, don't open the... Daddy! Scheming cholo bastards body trapped my place. Ain't no use running. When that boom shine blows, we're all gonna die. Get a grip. I'll get your damn liquor. I'll back the truck up to the door. You load her up. I better put these babies in some safe place, huh?
Hey, look who it is, Victor Vance. What's going on, amigo? You want some smoke? Fuck you, Martinez. Relax. You're so fucking histrionic. It's like hanging out with a bitch on her period. You want me to fuck you up? Whatever, baby. The thing is, you work for Phil. And Phil, Phil works for me, which makes you my bitch's bitch. Figure that out. <coughs> Man, that shit is heavy. So you had better play nice if you want to get paid, huh? Because if you don't get paid, then who's going to look after your sick brother? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, change the record, baby. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What did you expect me to do, huh? I didn't screw you over for fun. I was saving myself, and you would do the same, and don't pretend otherwise. I had a career. So what? You got kicked out of the army. Big deal. Hey, I told Phil about some guns I can sell if you can get them. Hmm? Hey, Phil, don't smoke too much of this shit, huh? It'll make you trip out. Get paranoid. Sure. Later, Jerry. Come on, Vic. This just silence any asshole following me. We're gonna need some backup, Vic. I know some guys that'll help. Are we being followed? We better not be being followed. I'll rip those bastards' livers right out of their side. Chill out, man. There ain't no one following us. Hey, fellas, come on. We're gonna make some money. They're good guys, Vic. Just always so quiet. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't trust them. I'm gonna take the truck back to my place. Anyone follows me, you give them hell. Phil, baby, would I screw you over? Yeah, you would. Bullshit! I wouldn't. Not to you, not to a brother in arms. Come on, give me a hug. Ah, screw you over. Nah, you'd never screw anyone over, would you? Oh, look who it is. St. Victor of Vance, the holier-than-thou killer. All these principles, you go around shooting people. <laughs> I do what I gotta do. Ooh. After I trusted an asshole. You enjoyed it, brother. Admit it, because you're a maniac, huh? I gave you a life. Go to hell, Martinez. Uh -huh. See, Phil, I saved Vic, and I can save you too. Huh? What does this scumbag want? He wants me to go over to some warehouse and see if his merchandise is all there. That's all. Hey, it's cool. Go with him, Vicky boy, if you don't trust me. But, Phil, you owe me after what you said. You said that was forgotten. If you do this, I'll explain as we drive, Vic. It's time for me to get another drink. What was that about? You've got to go. No, I got drunk and told Martinez I didn't trust him no more. I said he was an asshole. He is an asshole. No, I am. Because now he won't put any work my way until I do trust him. Let's get this over with. Drive easy, Vic. The last of my boom shine is in the back of the truck. I'm through with that demon drink. Hallelujah! It's a sober life for me, bud. Sober. S-O-B-E-R. Who the hell are these guys? Hey, fellas, Martinez Yeah, Martinez said bye-bye. Hot damn! Play fair, fellas. What about the damn Geneva Convention? Well, there, shit, you don't pull my jet. Sure, I'll take you on, buddy. Come here. Oh. Who fuck's sake? 
Snake Phil, do something! Hey! My boom shot! This round's on daddy, assholes! I think we've both outgrown our usefulness to Martinez. Sure he wants us dead? Shit, an asshole. I'm gonna lay low for a while. I reckon you should too. Screw that. I ain't hiding from that piece of shit. Remember, discretion's the better part of valor. Good luck, soldier. What are you doing here? I heard there's gonna be a party, so I brought fireworks! Where's Lance? I love that guy! Yeah! <laughs> so if you guys are ready, let's do this. Hey, Lance. Come here, man. Yo, bro, what's up? What the hell's going on? We're about to get hit by those Mendez guys. Thought we could use some of your buddies to crash the party. What? Help out! What, did I do wrong again? No, 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 man. For once, you did very right. Let's go deal with these pricks. Yeah, let's pop! <laughs> I just received a message from Umberto and Phil. They've been kicking asses just like us. You mean we did it? We won? Yeah, the Mendez brothers can kiss my ass. It'll be easy, but you need help. Uh, what about Quentin? He can fly? No, thanks. <laughs> Wait, I know. What about oh. this guy, Phil? He's an old army buddy of mine. I love him. Go get him. All right. Phil, I, I don't know what to say. I'm going after Diego Mendez. I wouldn't ask for help if I didn't need it, but I need it. There's an attack copter up at the base. If I can get hold of it... <clears throat> you need a decoy. Then I got all the decoy you're gonna need. I, 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 uh, I... I can't believe she's gone. Sorry, Vic. She was a good soldier. Uh, a, a good sister, I mean. You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you, man? We're breaking into a military base and I'm drunk. What could be more stupid? Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Luis! Yeah! <laughs> Suck on that! It was hell up on that ridge. We had bogeys everywhere and ammunition was running out real fast. I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't tell what was going to happen, so I said to myself, Phil, I said, because my name is Phil Cassidy. They don't award Purple Hearts to the liberal pinkos. Do what your grandpappy did. Shoot everything that moves. I am proud to say I killed everyone there.
We need a stick-up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy! 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 This stuff keeps you sharp, man! Woo! I could be your stick-up man! Stick him up! Stick him up! You ain't a stick-up man, you're an idiot! Now get yourself a drink and shut up! Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ow, ow, ow! Relax! Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. You Phil Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. In this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son! I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet! Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> the shoot! So, you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart-talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay. I understand. What'd he say? Well, he'll do it. No problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues? Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please, tr treat me bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the get away. I, I don't... Door. Uh... <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank, we wave the gun around, and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger... Will I tell the group about this? Jump in gibber speed. But to us? Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not. R2? Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. For God's sakes, Bill, stop waving that thing around. Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Okay, guys, nice and easy, just as we planned. Shut 
too young for me, mi querido. This is a raid! Ah! Nobody move! Ah! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. Damn! It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find the manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. <laughs> Phil, things still sweet? Sure! Everything's real quiet. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! <laughs> the SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! <laughs> Surrounded? <laughs> They're hurting themselves! The rotten bastards! Tommy! The vault's open! Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place! Take cover! <laughs> That's the last of Go, go, go! This is for the 10th, 19 North, East of Havana. This is for the 10th, 21 North, East of Havana. Chef, where's Hillary? I'll give him abandonment issues. Hey guys, get in! I got you covered! Tommy, what I tell ya? Vent swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Give me a big slice, mate. Come on, I gotta get some new friends. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the Ridge and Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I can help you out. You hear? Bill! Run! Run! Ah, wait! Never get a naked life too close to what a Phil Cassidy's moonshine steals. Shit, Phil. Uh, drink that stuff? Hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Wait. Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner. Been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. Hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. Tommy, it's Phil. 
Now cut out all the reminiscent crap and listen to me, you hear? Good. I got me some extra strength boonshine nearing fermentation time, and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Johnny. If you like a drink, or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. Sure did out of me, even though I can't see out of one eye. I'll be waiting for you, you hear? Hey, Phil. How's it going? Hey, Tommy! How you doing? This bitch is hot! I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. It's making my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Don't like, you worry about the Phil. smell, Oof. Tommy. You just watch this. Shitty, cheap, bad news or something. There's some more on the bench. Ta-da! Oh, damn! <laughs> Watch out! Charlie the tree light! It's me who... Or the roads made of jelly. Broke a spoon. Come out of the hand. You got me. Spoon, run. Woo, woo, woo. He's come for me, boy. Black feather wing. Eating go. all around. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. But so cold. That's a hospital, man. Too many cops and be it calm. There's an ex-army surgeon who owes me a few favors. And a lawnmower. He's got a place down, a little Havana. Oh, huh, giant fish. Oh yeah, man, look at that car. Hey, Jay, over here. An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup, and in return, he'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> good luck. Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. Whoa. Hey, if I've teamed up with you in Nicaragua, maybe I'd still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lobby. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops.
Promised my little boy I'd take him to Cassidy's Bargain Firearms Emporium tomorrow.